Hello inakuwaje? Of course najulikana kama official kaka Jay na kila siku na kisha kwamba nakuletea interviews uh, kutoka HQ ambako ni Seven Heaven Music interview ambazo zinafanya vizuri sana kwa Guardian Angel of course muda wako ni sasa hivi fika pale YouTube ya kwetu subscribe na utakuwa kwanza kupata matukio yetu ya kwetu sasa leo niko na Guardian Angel na kuna vitu vingi sana nataka zungumzie eh, hususan eh, studio ambayo ameweza kuifungua na pia vile vile maisha yake na vitu vingine ambavyo nataka uzijue inakuwaje safi na shukrani eh yeah, man suti imenyoka mm, lazima inyoke mzee we mm? maelfu hii Mungu anasaidia wewe <laughs> unapenda sana mambo ya pesa we. Unajua Garden mimi mm. yani pale Instagram wewe kosa sauti mpya sauti mpya designer wako anafurahi ana sana yeah, designer ana enjoy sana yeah. Yeah, designer ana kama nzuri Nairobi anasikia mzuri kabisa wakati unavaa suti ni kitu gani hakiezi miss um, of course hezi kumisa um, shati sa zingine na miss sa zingine napiga suti tu na vest unajua yeah mm. na gym Ya yeah, alafu eh hivi karibuni umeingia kwenye mazoezi oh, bibi analisha tu mzuri eh yeah. yeah, bibi analisha tu mzuri <laughs> alafu na enjoy na kunywa maji safi ni vitu kama hiyo hatari sana uh, tumeona kwamba industry bida garden angel wanasema muziki hauwezi songa unahisi kwa nini watu wanakupenda kiasi hichi ah uh, inaweza kusonga muziki inaweza kusonga tu hata bila mimi um, lakini kwa upendo na shukuru tu yeah. uh, naweza kusema tu ni neema ya Mungu nimekuepo kwa muda pia unajua nimekuwa hapa for a while um, kipambania tu kwamba nipate njia Mungu ana amenisaidia amenipatia time ya ku learn na ku unajua ku go through the process kwa ana sema hata hiyo upendo ni fever ya Mungu tu yeah, yeah man Okay. Yeah. Wewe ni mmoja wa wasanii ambao wako na discipline sana mm. kwa kuachia kwenye kazi zake. Yeah. Yaani ukiachia kazi yako mm. eh, shabiki ambaye anakuona mm. haezi kaboweka. Mimi mm. kuna mtu anaweza kujiuliza gani anje watumia jia gani kwamba akiachia mziki mashabiki watapokea watabarikiwa. Mm. Eh, siri ni gani gadeni? Uh, siri kwanza ni kufahamu uh, uh, audience ambao uko nayo na cha pili miko understand pia purpose ya nyimbo unajua yeah. kila nyimbo iko na purpose yake yeah. kila nyimbo iko na mtu mmoja ambaye Mungu angependa yeye ujumbe umfikie kwa hiyo uh, me understand nyimbo kulingana na unajua purpose yake ya hiyo nyimbo ni, ni, ni gani yeah. unataka imfikie nani ni nani ungetaka kumzungumzia yeah. unajua uh, na Mungu pia angetaka wimbo wenyewe ufikie nani yeah. kwa hiyo nikishajua hiyo Uh, wakati ya hapo nafanya marketing ama nasukuma wimbo nasukuma kulingana na vile najua huu wimbo nataka ufike wapi na nataka umfike nani mm. yeah. okay. mm. nimependa hiyo sana mm. tumeona kwamba mwaka umeanza vizuri kwako yeah. of course yeah. studio nyingine yeah. lakini vile vile tumeona collab kutoka Tanzania yeah. na watu wanahisi kwamba wewe kuleta msanii ambaye tunamzungumzia hapa ni Obi Alpha mm. anafanya vizuri sana mm. uh, mimi nataka nijue safari yake kuja Tanzania kuja Kenya mm. lakini vile vile eh, stolia ama ni kipi uliona kwake uko na kwamba huyu jamaa nikifanya na yeye kazi mm. kweli itakwenda um obi alpha ni rafiki yangu wa, wa muda mm. eh, niliintroduciwa kwa obi alpha na uh, rafiki yangu director wangu ambaye anaitwa Engsa yeah. ambaye alikuwa amekuja Kenya kunifanya uh, uh, music videos mm. so wakati anafanya music videos akanionyesha nyimbo moja ya obi alpha mm. uh, nyimbo tu slow uh, yake one of the songs ambazo yeye ndio alikuwa amefanya video mm. Uh, wakati na muangalia eh hey, nikapata na nyimbo yake moja ambayo ilinibariki sana so nikaambia Yengsa mpigie jamaa yeah. uh, alipompigia Yengsa nikamwambia mimi nataka ujue wewe ni star hiyo tu nataka ujue wewe ni star yeah, akaniambia asante hiyo story kaisha unajua yeah. uh, uh, tuka nikasema kwamba siku moja yani tukipata fursa ya kufanya nyimbo itakuwa sawa yeah. lakini kwa sasa wacha ika hivyo hivyo wakati na tunamaliza hiyo story ya kumwambia wewe ni star akawa ametoa sasa bora kumshukuru Mungu. So wakati narudi sasa kuangalia napata ni yule boy wangu yule ambaye <laughs> eh yule boy wangu ambaye tumeongea you know juzi kwa simu kitu yeah. inaenda kweli unajua. Ah uh, nikafurahi sana uh, about him yani uh, ni jamaa tu ambaye apili yake na hata mkiongea unyenyekevu wake nini utafurahi tu unajua ni jamaa ametulia na Mungu amempatia sana kipaji cha kuandika akiandika ukisikia you know vile anaandika nyimbo yake mm. unajua kweli huyu ni jamaa anajua anataka kufanya nini okay. unajua kwa hiyo um, uh, so now a month later i think two months later mimi nikaendelea kazi zangu yakaendelea na zake mm. uh, nikapata call kutoka kwa 
you know uh, rafiki yangu wisdom ambaye mm-hmm. anafanya kazi sasa hii uh, radio citizen na pia alikuwa msanii i think ni msanii bado ana sijui mpango yake ya kuimba but najua ni, ni msanii yeah. uh, kaniambia kwamba uh, uh, na no, rafiki yangu ningependa uh, tuongee mfanye kitu yeah. kamza nani obi alfa kaniambia obi namjua tume ko eh tumeongea mzee uh, so hata haikuwa ngumu unajua kwangu ku accept kufanya naye collab so uh, kafungua whatsapp group yangu mimi manager wa obi um, tukazungumza kuhusu collab wakantumia nyimbo uh, uh, ambayo wangependa tuifanye uh, nimekana hiyo nyimbo for a while i think uh, ni almost a month because hiyo ilikuwa way way before at uh, uh, twende Mombasa for the gig uh, nimekaka nayo unajua ni ile tu niki try kusikiza na nisikie yani ni nini naweza kusema kwa hiyo song unajua kwa hiyo later tuliporudi sasa tuka hawa na you hapa know, kule hapa kule za ku set up studio na nini so wakati tuli set up apparently you know, the first song ambayo ile record kwa hii studio okay. yeah. mimi nataka najua nijue kwamba wakati mna compose mm. wanasemanga mm. kuna title nyingi mbona yeah. ikawa pigana na Mungu uh, nyimbo aliponitumia ilikuwa inaitwa pigana na Mungu nadhani yeye anaweza ku explain zaidi eh, kuhusu titles ya song na unajua na mbona alifikiria kuimba kitu kama hicho uh, kwa hiyo uh, i think uh, as far as najua mm. ni kwamba kwa sababu ya vile chorus ipo na hook ya song iko uh, pigana na Mungu ndio ilikuwa the perfect uh, title ya song okay. yeah man song inaenda sana of course sasa hivi kule Tanzania ina trend namba zinapanda mm. lakini vile vile Kenya mm. ina sasa hivi nimeangalia nikaona ina trend namba 19 yeah. na hichi ni kitu ambacho hakijaitokea mm. mwaka wa 2023 mm. tuko 2024 Guardian Angel wanaachia kazi inakubalika vizuri sana. Mm. Unahisi kwamba hii ndio time yako ya victory? Uh, nahisi kwamba uh, ni time yangu uh, ambayo Mungu alipanga kweli uh, ndio itakuwa time ambayo watu watanisikia zaidi kwa sababu mimi nimeanza nyuma kidogo. 2209 hapo 2010 2011 ni kwaanza kuimba tayari. So uh, breakthrough yangu imekuja way way later lakini namshukuru Mungu tu kwa sababu ya unajua kuweza kunisaidia ku grow nikielewa vile industry ko vile ministry ko vile kumuimbia uh, yale mambo mambo yako hapa na nini kwa hiyo hata hiyo time ambayo nimeteka kwa kwa industry nimekuwa tu time yangu inafya ku grow na nashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu sasa hivi nikiweza kuimba na watu wanisikize hapa nje kidogo okay. yeah. nasema kwamba mlikuwa mnaongea na Obi Alpha mm. lakini time inafika kwamba mnapatana mm na kuzungumza kusema kwamba ekai colors mm. ekai stanza yeah. ulipata ugumu wote ama yeye pia kuna challenge ambayo mlipitia hapo katika yani hata itaweza kuwa itaweza kana kwamba ye by the time anajua kwamba tunafanya song ile kwa baadaye kidogo nchi atumiwa yeah. eh, kwa sababu manager ndio tulikuwa na communicate naye kabisa yeah. kwa hiyo hata nilipoifanya tu nikatuma verse yangu ndo ali, alisikia verse akajo e, jamaa me amesoa kani akani akani cheka akaniambia e, bro nimefurahi sana mm. uh, ile vibe umeka kwa song umeka vibe fit kwa hiyo uh, yeah unajua hii wimbo itakuja kuwa maarufu sana na watu na nilipenda na nilipenda hata niliposikia mara ya kwanza na kumkanda msikizi cha pia uh, wife yangu uh, na tuliposikia tu the first uh, three lines mi Mungu amenisaidia sana kuweza kujua songs unajua nikisikiza song hivi naweza kujua hii song inaweza kuenda wapi ama inaweza kufanya nini ya yeah, kwa hiyo niliposikia tu chorus vile naenda nikamwambia wife hii ni song hii yeah, ni song so uh, nilijua in, kuna uwezekano wa ifanye vizuri okay. yeah. najua miaka 15 kwenye game yeah. maybe kuna changamoto ambazo umezopata nazo mm. na mimi najua wakati unaachia wimbo mm. kuna zile comment zinakukata kabisa wasema mm. kweli huyu angejua mm. mambo napitia mimi yeah. nataka nipate ni experience kwamba nini kime kufanya una push kila time hata ukipata na matatizo unazidi kufanya muziki mzuri uh, unajua hii ni kazi ya Mungu man na hii ni kazi ya Mungu na hii hi ni fursa ambayo nilitamani sana kuipata kwa maisha yangu wakati nafanya kazi kwa bidii ni kwamba nifike mahali watu pia miwanisikize unajua kwa hiyo siwezi kukubali kukuwa distracted na ndio mitandao ilivyo tu mitandao iko hivyo bro unajua kuna yani kila mtu anakujua kwake kuna kila mtu anajua ye kulingana na yeye opinion yake hivyo ndo anaijua na hivyo ndo anataka ku air you understand kwa hiyo uwezi kukubali kwamba hizo opinion za watu ziko hizo ndo zitaku um, uh, uh, unajua zitakufanya nini zitaku distract you understand opinion ni nzuri watu wakisema lakini uwezi ufai kuiruhusu kwamba hiyo ndio iko distract kwa sababu kila mtu ana mpango yake ya maisha 
mimi najua nataka kufika wapi kimaisha kwa miaka ngapi ambayo nimejipatia kwa hiyo kila kitu ambayo uh, uh, na, na, na welcome sai ni kitu kitanisukuma kufika hapo mahali nataka kufika kwa hiyo um, uh, siru sugi uh, Uh, you know distraction ya kutoka kwa opinion za watu kwa sababu wote ambao wanaongea utapata anaongea tu lakini hajui eh, ana hata fact hata ukimitasahau mshiko mulizo ulikuwa anasema nini anakwambia mi bana mimi sijui eh. <laughs> <laughs> nimependa hiyo ah mm. uh, ngoma na obi alpha mm. najua njia nyingi zitafunguka Tanzania Kabisa. na uko tayari kwa ile Mimi niko tayari mzee. Mimi niko tayari. Unajua uh, mi, kwa kariya yangu ya music God wangana nipatie step by step. Si kwamba mambo yote yanakuja kwangu once. Uh, inaenda gradual. Unajua gradual growth step by step. Kwa hiyo nami ni kwamba wakati mahali nimefika sai, niko uh, ready God ameni prepare enough for this level. Na hata wakati itakuwa hapo ni the next level bado nitakuwa niko prepared enough. Okay. Yep. Tanzania umeingiza mguu watu wamekukubali. Yeah. Tegemee mimi kwamba tours zitakuwa nyingi sana Tanzania. Uh, tours of course zitakuepo lazima niende huko kwa kwa ajili ya kufanya official video ya ya uh, ipigana na Mungu na mm. uh, nifanye a few tours hapo um, uh, of course just to be able to meet up and introduce myself to uh, the fan base there um, kwa hiyo uh, najua kutakuwa na uhusiano mkubwa kati yetu na you know uh, uh, watumishi wako Tanzania na of course uh, fan base yetu ya Tanzania okay. yeah man Asante sana mimi nimefunjia hiyo sasa. Nataka tuingie upande mwingine ambao mashabiki wanataka sana kusikiliza. Mm. Umefungua studio mpya. Yeah. Wazo limetoka wapi? Idea imetoka wapi kufungua studio nyingine? Mm. Of course kuna studio ambayo wewe binafsi unaitumia. Mm. Kipi kime convince kwamba tunahitaji nifungue studio nyingine mm. labda kwa ma vijana ambao wanachipokea. Yeah. Uh, uh, nilipata opportunity towards the end of the year. Mm. But even before that I was doing it. Uh, nilikuwa nafanya tu support unajua mm. kipata opportunity ya mtu ambaye ako na talent na anahitaji support nitam support kwa uwezo wangu mm. but uh, towards the end of the year tulipata opportunity ya ku uh, engage na uh, msanii mm. ambaye alifanya wimbo wangu yes. anaitwa Samiji of course mnamjua mm. uh, na wimbo kaenda viral na watu wakanita kwamba ni msupport so hapo nilikuwa na options mbili option ya kwanza ilikuwa ku post video ya Samiji mm-hmm. ya TikTok yeah. na niseme you have done a good job yeah. na niachi hapo mm-hmm. unajua kuna uwezekano hiyo yeah. watu kuona kwamba nime recognize yeah. uh, option ya pili ilikuwa labda ni msupport nimlipie wimbo wake mmoja afanye vile nimekuwa nikifanyia wengine mm-hmm. nimlipie afanye song yake alafu nimwache mm-hmm. but uh, nile option for the third op- nili op- nili Uh, uh, choose the third option ile ambayo si kupaswa kufanya yeah. lakini hiyo ndio nilifanya okay. kwamba mm. nimchukue tufanye naye song hiyo hiyo ambayo imefanya kaenda viral yeah. understand mm. na nikaigaramia tukaifanya mm. na wakati ambapo tunaifanya wazo langu lilikuwa kwamba kuna watu wengi kama Samiji ambao wanahitaji hiyo hiyo opportunity kwa hiyo tunaweza kuwafanyia nini na hao mm. Unaona? So hapo ndo niliamua ndio niweze kuwa support niko na studio lakini iko kwangu kwa nyumba. Yes. Siwezi kubea hiyo eh, walk in and out ya kwangu kwa nyumba okay. kwa sababu ya kusupport wasanii. Yeah. Nikamwa wacha ni set up studio kwa sababu 7 Heaven imekuepo for all these years hii uh, label idea ya label mm. imekuepo all this while ni kama wacha ni set up studio so that in case tupate msani mwingine ambaye of course wako yeah. kama ni Sami mm. uh, uh, wataweza kusaidiwa before Sami nilikuwa nimeanzisha Guardian Angel Foundation yeah. Guardian Angel Foundation tunaifund sisi wenyewe mimi na wife yangu mm. uh, uh, just last year ndo tulipata opportunity ya rafiki yetu mmoja kutu support kutoka uh, US mm. um, uh, anaitwa Gitu a little support for one of our projects mm. but uh, most of the times my fund sisi wenyewe yeah. ili kuweza kupatia msanii opportunity ya kufanya recording na video ya song yake mm. alafu anaenda mm. so the foundation is just basically ya kusupport msanii hii, hii foundation mnafanya tu random artist ukiona mm. ana kitu ama ni yeah, mimi nimekwambia najua kusikiza nyimbo yes. eh, najua nikikusikiza nitakujua nitajua kuna kitu mm. uko nacho mm. so Uh, for the first project nilifanya na Derek nilimfanyia one of his songs 
Um, then the second project of course ilikuwa hii tuna Samiji. Mm. Na nyimbo zote zenye zimefundishwa na Garden Angel Foundation, utaona nyimbo ikianza logo ya Garden Angel Foundation ipo hapo. Yeah. So Derek nimefanya naye nyimbo mbili under Garden Angel Foundation and then um, I did Samiji. Ah mm. uh, hiyo project. But nika feel watu wana, kuna watu wengi wanahitaji hiyo mm. support from the foundation. But if I I am able to set up a studio then at a cost yake itarudi chini kwa sababu sasa watu watakuwa na space ambayo wanaweza fanya audio then of course uh, uh, tuko na video director anaitwa anka ama tukihitaji uh, director mwingine a come through ata come through mm-hmm. understand so hiyo ndio ilikuwa wazo langu ya kufungua hii studio na uh, so far namshukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu hata kabla ni malize studio tumeshafanya uh, five more projects we so uh, so ilikuwa ni Derek the two songs nambazo nimekwambia then we did samiji uh, nimependa then uh, tukaenda Mombasa to, we did two artists in Mombasa anaitwa moja Ketos uh, moja Rafketo anaitwa Gabi yeye ni mze, ni legend amekuepo uh, but tulipenda two song yake na tukam reach out kwamba tungeza kupenda kufanya hiyo song ifikie watu zaidi so there's Gabriel then there's a, 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 a couple uh, boy wangu anaitwa Stevo pia tumefanya na project yake nilifanya jana tu a a a nilienda studio uh, nao tukaweza ku record song nimeipenda sana it's a beautiful song mm-hmm. yenye pia hiyo itakuwa ina release hiyo under um, uh, the foundation mm-hmm. so uh, so there are several artists already who have gotten an opportunity to uh, be supported by the foundation mm-hmm. unajua uh, so uh, l- ku- just to answer why we decided to put up this studio mm-hmm. Uh, it's majorly kwa sababu ya hiyo. Okay. Yeah man. So unaniambia kwamba hata msanii akitaka kulipa hata lipa. No kuna wale wanalipa. Yeah. Kuna wale of course wanajiweza na tunalipisha expensive sana by the way. Oh, oh. Si ati kwamba ati pia ni studio tu ya mchezo. Sababu pia unaona hiyo setup vile iko. So. Eh si kitu ati ni, ni kitu ya mchezo. Kwa hiyo kuna wale wanalipa sana. Mm-hmm. Na sasa wale wanalipa kwa sababu nimekwambia zi tunatoa pesa yetu Garden Angel Foundation inatoka kwetu mimi na wife yangu. Yeah. So sasa kwa wale wanalipa ndio ile kidogo tunapata kama profit ndio tunapata sasa ya kuweza kusupport wengine. Nikipata show zangu hapa na pale na kata kidogo inaweza kurudia wengine. Of course revenues zangu za music na kitu kama hiyo inatoka ile kidogo kidogo at least every month kuna ile kidogo inatoka ya kuweza kurudi kwa wasanii. Kwa hiyo kwa kulipa nayo wanalipa sana. Yeah tajie wafanya kazi takriban watu wangapi kwa hii studio manake ni kubwa sana nimeingia na kuta hii kiwanja ndani watu wako watu yeah. wako tu uh, basi kusema ni wangapi of course uh, for now yeah. but watu wako uh, kila kazi kwa na mtu anaweza kuifanya okay. yeah man nashukuru mungu okay. <laughs> yeah nika ni kula kila kitu hapa ni expensive sana maybe imegarimu so. milioni ngapi imegarimu sana naweza kusema but uh, nadhani si muhimu sana watu kujua unajua kuna mambo mingi tu uh, unajua siku hizi hata ukiambia watu eh, nashukuru Mungu niko hai leo bado hiyo watakusumbua sana juu hiyo kwa nini unatuambia uko hai kwani uko na kiburi we unajua eh? kuna wakati fulani niliambia watu mimi naishi Karen ah mbona walileta shida sana na ni ukweli hapo ndo naishi unajua kwa hiyo watu find issues kwa, kwa kila kitu kwa hiyo sitaki kuingililia mambo ya gharama ni kujua tu kwamba um, of course imetugarimu lakini tunamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu uh, ameweza kutupatia hiyo provision mm-hmm. yeah, kwa hiyo uh, uh, na, na tunashukuru kwamba already so far hizo project zimeweza kufanyika hapa tayari kama tumesha set up Mungu ametufungulia projects ambazo zimeshaweza kufanyika nimekwambia saini five na naamini Mungu hata zitakuwa zaidi uh, so tunashukuru hiyo seven heaven mna, mna record audio lakini vile vile video mnatoa pia yeah, video inafanya director yuko hapa hatari sana anajita anga mm-hmm. yeah okay. yeah kwa hiyo msanii yote ambaye anahisi kwamba hana mtu ambaye anamwamini wa kufanya video mm-hmm. nyimbo kwa wazi Yeah, yeah though watu wako wa videos eh, msanii aziko sa mtu akumwamini uh, lakini video tunafanya pia tunafanya boya b- b- a full uh, media house unajua sisi sisi ni a full media house unaona hata huko hapa kwa sababu ya mambo ya interview na nini okay. na 7 even uh, iko na uh, youtube studio yake i mean youtube uh, uh, platform yake 
iko na Facebook platform yake, iko na TikTok platform platform yake. Uh, na tunashukuru Mungu sana tuko na uh, tumekuwa na favor sana towards 7 kwa sababu hata uh, TikTok tulifungua jana sasa hivi nimeona iko 10,000 followers already. Wow. Yeah, so uh, 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 it's uh, you know something good. And uh, uh, you know I I am looking at the positive side of what is happening at 7 Heaven because um even after the launch you know god has been able to open us into you know uh, uh uh being able to record those songs that i've told you being able to uh, open up a few things here and there that are supporting the the platform so ni muhimu tu kwamba wakati mwingine tuangalie the positive side ya kila kitu eh to see to ready ku kwa na mambo mambo mingi uh, to angalia the positive side na hii seven heaven ni idea ambayo nilianza kukuwa na tangu 20 ukiangalia the first tags zile nilitag ni around 2014 2015 kwa mm. kitu ya leo ni kitu imekuwa hapo for so long unajua mm. for so long so sai tu ni wakati ambapo Mungu pia ameifungulia feva yake kwamba sasa iweze kukuwa born into now the real thing yep uh, tarajie studio nyingine sehemu nyingine ama hii itakuwa ya kwanza amna aja ya sasa ma, ma nini ma branches unajua yeah. uh, kitu cha muhimu tu alafu unajua studio hizi ya ka branch kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe niko hapa na nataka sana ofisi yangu iko hapa na mm-hmm. uh, napenda sana kukuwa part of projects za watu za wasanii wale ambao na work nao um, hata yule amelipa ama yule hajalipa mi huka kwa studio nisikize every part of the song vile inafanywa ni direct every part of the song kwa hivyo nikikuwa na branch ikuwe mahali pengine mm. sitaweza kukuwa hapo ni direct unajua mimi nataka sana kukuwa involved kwa every project ambayo ninaifanya na the only way ya kukuwa hivyo that's why nilieka ofisi yangu hapa ndio mm. sasa zile nataka ku involve kwa project ya msani na toka tu kwa ofisi na kuja hapa na sikiza alafu narudi na naweza ku direct pia from the office hata nikiwa hapa ndakuangalia tu kwa kamera ndakusikiza ukiendelea na shughuli yako <laughs> yeah mimi nataka nijue the official date ambayo utakuja ufanye launching mashabiki wangetaka kujua uh, official launch, uh, official date tuta, tuta announce of course uh, uh, very soon ni vile tu kumekuwa na few delays hapa unapata pia saa zingine fundi wa kitu fulani amechelewa nini nini unajua vitu kama hizo delays kidogo but uh, so far uh, naweza kusema tu tuko 97% uh, uh, done uh, and when we are at 100 uh, tutaweza ku announce date ya launch i love to tie up you know a few guys a few friends of ours to just come and celebrate with us okay. yep mimi nimefurahia sana na maybe kama kuna kitu ambacho ungetaka kuongezea Uh, ningependa tu tu support sana Obi Alpha. Yeah. Obi Alpha uh, 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 YouTube channel yake, subscribe to his YouTube channel, support his music. He's a, a, a very talented uh, uh, young guy na na believe Obi Alpha atakuwa star. Obi Alpha is a big artist. So ningependa tu support. To support wasanii wengine wote. Support Sami G. Uh, badala ya kuja kunipigia pigia kelele kwamba sijamfanyia hivi sijamfanyia vile. Nenda hapo support kazi ile anafanya hapo. Si unamjua sasa. Eh, yeah. hey, ingia hapo. Wewe kwa sababu ushamjua. Ingia hapo kwa channel yake, umsupport hapo. Unajua? Eh, hey, kwa sababu anahitaji hiyo support. Anahitaji wakati una comment kwangu, uko kwangu. Nenda hapo kwa platform yake inatakiwa uwe hapo uko na comment hapo anafanya kazi you understand yeah support Derek Deus you know all, all the you know the the musicians ambao wanajaribu kuinuka just give them support you know directly you understand yeah just give them their support up tuendele kuinua uh, 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 gospel industry yetu tuna believe kwamba na omba Mungu atuweke place um, fit sana the gospel industry hii mwaka watu wametoa nyimbo sana moji ametoa one of my favorite songs ya yeah, 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 moji huu mwaka um, uh, size 8 uh, uh, jabidi size 8 benachi imetoka size 8 uh, wekatik jabidi timeless noelo campo didiman imetoka pia nyimbo nzuri sana ina uh, uh, inaenda fit sana kelsi ametoa wimbo pia nyimbo ziko nyingi dadi owe analitoa wimbo unajua wasao ametoa wimbo sana wasao gospel uh, uh, so uh, tuzidi tu ku support hiyo na tuzidi kupanda zaidi au sio wow. meanwhile subscribe pia hapa 7 even uh, 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 sisi ni eh, nyumba kivietu unajua tunakimbia nalo sana hata unajua au sio yeah, nimetoka kuongea na C 
CEO of course Guardian Angel Music Doctor na hapa ni Seven Heaven Music sema ambayo utakuwa unafanyia muziki mzuri na pia unaona ni enjoy sana lakini cha muhimu ni kuhakikisha kwamba una subscribe kwenye YouTube ya kwetu Seven Heaven Music utapata mambo mazuri alright until next time bye bye